The SNP have made this video to try and convince Scottish people that their hate crime bill is absolutely necessary and it's one of the most sinister things I've seen in my life. So let's watch it right now. Some kind of art installation. She looks like fun. She looks like fun as well. Oh, I can tell I'm going to have fun at this party. Dear homophobes. Racists. Bigots. Transphobes and disablers. She's so pro-disabled people, she actually got her hair cut by somebody with one arm. There are things this country doesn't welcome. Is that the girl from the village of the damned, grown up? We don't welcome you attacking people because of their religion, where they're from, or the colour of their skin. We don't welcome you abusing and bullying disabled people. We don't welcome threatening gay, lesbian, or transgender people with verbal or physical abuse. Haters are not going to hate here. Where is she thinking of putting the haters? Are they going to be pushed out of Scotland into the sea? That's why if we see anything, we're calling the police. Oh, if we see anything, we're calling the police. Oh, you fucking grass, you little teacher's pet. Oh, miss, miss, Susie did a hate crime, miss, I'm reporting Susie. Jesus Christ, this is the direct result of 20 years of children being told to run to teacher if they have a problem with another kid instead of standing on their own feet and sorting it out themselves. Because what it does is it creates a culture where you need the state, you need some sort of third party guardian to come in and solve your problems for you. There's a reason for millennia it's been seen as healthy and normal to sort your problems out yourself. Call in the police. If you see anything, you call in the police. That's just, you know what I mean? What's, uh, we're all going to be walking on eggshells in case we see anything that might just accidentally trigger some witness. We believe in acceptance. You don't sound like you believe in acceptance. And it's time you accept that. Is this guy trying to threaten me into accepting that? He weighs about six stone. Look at those overalls that he's wearing. They've obviously just come out of the wrapper. This guy's never worked in a fucking mechanics. Yes, Scotland. That doesn't look like Scotland, that looks like a shit London synth band, like a crock of shite gulls. They're all about 15 years old. The crimes they talk about in this video, like assault and harassment, they're already crimes. And if the criminal justice system determines that you're motivated by hate when you commit them, they give you a harsher sentence, which is, you know, perfectly correct. Nobody's trying to stop that. The hate crime bill that they seem to be conflating with that is completely different. It's really only going to be used maliciously, um, you know, by angry ex-girlfriends and also by the SNP themselves. I mean, you can see uh, they've already used it. So they accused Joanna Cherry, uh, who's a, a political rival of Sturgeon's in the SNP. They accused her of transphobia uh, to kick her out of her, her place on the front bench and replace her with, uh, with a more pro-Sturgeon uh, politicians, so they subverted the democratic process and just used this, you know, hate crime to get rid of her. I'm just putting this up the night before the vote, but if you do see this in time, vote for me, Leo Kers, from the Reclaim Party in Glasgow on May the 6th to repeal the hate crime bill. If you don't see it in time, man, we've all, we can do it in four years' time or whatever. <laughs> I'm not confident of getting in, basically, my election address is... With the election, like, every household gets a leaflet with your message on it, you know, your photo saying, this is what I stand for and stuff. So we had all those printed, ready to go. There was some sort of fuck up along the way between the printers, Royal Mail, whoever it was, uh, and those aren't going out. Hopefully we've just done enough to sort of raise awareness of the hate crime bill and uh, hopefully in the next year or two as we start seeing it applied and misapplied, then we can get enough momentum to actually roll it back, as has already been done with the, the name person scheme and, um, and also the Offensive Behaviour at Football Act. But, uh, but yeah, vote for Leo Kers, reclaim in Glasgow, May the 6th. And uh, yeah, cheers. Take care. Bye. <laughs>